The statistics window supplies basic information about the data on the network. It monitors the network and collects statistics all the time, even when data is not actively being captured. However, you can select the freeze icon to stop the window from updating and select again to resume updating. FTS will continue to monitor network traffic while the statistics window is frozen. The session tab displays information about all data collected since FTS was started. The session tab cannot be reset. The resettable tab can be reset and allows you to record statistics for a new session. In this way, you can effectively start a new session without having to restart FTS. To reset, select the reset icon. The Capture File tab shows information on the data that is currently in the file buffer. The tab will reset when you clear the buffer. If the capture buffer becomes full, FTS will begin to throw out the oldest data and put the new data in its place. This is called wrapping. If the buffer wraps, the count for the total number of events will remain roughly the same, since the buffer will remain full until it is cleared and therefore always contains approximately the same number of events. Capture data is being displayed in various tables. Data, utilization, errors, characters per second, buffer information, and frames per second. The signal display window provides a graphical view of control signal transitions. However, it is a static screen and doesn't view real-time changes of the control signals. Note that if you start capturing data and then bring up the signal display window while the data is being captured, the window will show you the state of the control signals at the time the window was open. This is called a snapshot because it's a picture of the buffer at the time the signal display was open. To update the display to reflect the current state of the buffer, you use the snapshot icon. The bottom of the screen shows current snapshot, currently visible, currently selected, and selected time. One of its most effective uses is a post-process review screen. The signal display is also synchronized with the other displays. If data is highlighted in one display, that selection is reflected in the signal display and vice versa. We have the option of removing or adding signal descriptions from the view. The breakout box window provides a real-time graphical view of the control signals. Also included are counters showing the number of times a control signal has changed. The window is customizable based on the control signals you wish to view and your preference of indicators. FTS has an extensive help file and is very easy to use. You can also access help from any window. While in any window, simply press F1 to retrieve information on that particular window. We will use signal display to demonstrate. 